My name is Dr. Pincus Goldberg, uh, MD. I'm a practicing allergist immunologist in the Indianapolis area. I am part of Allergy Partners, which is the largest uh, independent uh, allergy organization in the country. And we have offices in approximately 22 to 23 states. Uh, I'm also a clinical assistant professor of uh, internal medicine at uh, Indiana University uh, School of Medicine volunteer faculty. I'm uh, privileged to tell you about some newer things that the allergists are doing and what we're doing in our practice to improve the care for the patient. Uh, we're trying to incorporate newer technologies into the uh, clinical and, communi and community allergy practice. Uh, the technologies we're using are devices such as the Niox Pheno machine. This measures nitric oxide gas in parts per billion. And th at certain levels, this is elevated and asthmatic and type 2 or Th2 type inflammation in the lungs. And uh, this allows us to better differentiate allergic asthma from non-allergic asthma with a very simple test at a very a reasonable cost. In addition, in those patients who have continuing respiratory problems, we uh, have a device called a Restec uh, device, which allows us to measure the pH in the upper uh, pharynx, uh, approximately at the level of the uvula, which can be used to diagnose laryngeal pharyngeal reflux. Many patients who come in with coughing and other symptoms suggestive of asthma have primarily, a re have primarily reflux as the uh, cause of their respiratory symptoms. They're often treated with large amounts of corticosteroids and other measures that really don't help the patient in the long run. Uh, by using these uh, techniques, we can better differentiate the, uh, the uh, Th2 type asthmatic inflammatory condition in the airways from other conditions that mimic asthma, such as uh, laryngeal pharyngeal reflux, and even helps in ruling out potentially other dis diseases in the upper airway as well. So I think in summary, uh, what we're trying to do in the modern era is bring newer technologies that are reasonably cost-effective into the uh, community allergy practice where they can be used to better diagnose and treat patients and put them on the proper therapies and avoid unnecessary side effects from either uh, inhaled corticosteroids, oral corticosteroids, or even uh, proton pump inhibitors, which can induce side effects when used on a long-term basis.